Pure Gold Dot, 38 Special Plus B, 135 grain. And this is the Gold Dot Hollow Point. Product number is 53921. The 53 does designate a box of 50. The 921 is the short barrel version that they make for snubbies and short barrels. So we're gonna test today with a GP100 with a four inch. So some can say that's still a short barrel. I did test this in the model 605 Taurus. You guys seen the results of that. Let's see if we can get some great results again with a four inch barrel and see if we can get some more mushrooming, maybe some more penetration, because we're gonna have a little bit more velocity this time. Once again, it's a 38 Special Plus P 135 grain. This is made for the short barrel line. So let's check it out, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that Spear Gold Dot 135 grain plus P made for the short barrels. Shooting it out today out of the GP100 four inch barrel, which is still a short barrel. Let's check it out today. Four layers of denim calibrated gel. Let's see if we can get some awesome results like we did with the 605 Snubby. Well, let's go check it out. Okay guys, I don't know, I, I got some weird shadows going on here. I, I apologize about all this shadow stuff, but from where we're having the shoot now, I'm kind of under some brush and trees, so that's going to change again here in a month or so. But anyway, you can see where it went in. I don't know if you guys can see down in there, right where that little ridge is there. It's about the one and a half mark. And that 135 plus piece starts to open up. Of course, you'll see this a lot better in the side view. It's dumping denim. There's denim at three. You go on down, there's some more four and a half. Keeps on tracking down. It looks like it, you know, we'll get better in, in side view, but from what I can tell from up here, it looks like it starts to settle at eight. And it looks like right at 10, there's a bunch of denim drop right here. And then it gets into its streamline pattern. And it looks like it streamlines down. I don't know if you guys can even see down in there. Right at, I'm going to have to get this up out of there. I, I can't really tell. It looks like 16 and a quarter. Give me just a second, guys. Let me get that up out of there and take a look at it. Okay, hey guys, got that Gold Dot 38 Special 135 grain plus P made for the short barrels up out of the gel. You guys can see that perfect expansion. Really, it is. I mean, this is a heavier bullet, 135 grain. That top just mushroom backed really nice. 16 and a quarter inch penetration. Of course, I'll get weights and measurements in post. Let me get that side view cut for you so you guys can check out how wicked this really was. Really nice looking round. One end did its job. Remember, this is out of the GP100 four inch barrel. Still a small barrel, but we shot it out of a GP100 four inch. Let's get that side view looked at. Okay guys, here's that side view of that Gold Dot 38 Special 135 grain plus P short barrel round. As you guys can see right there, it was right about the half inch mark. Rapid expansion going up and down, probably about two, two and a quarter inches. And it's dumping a lot of denim right there. Massive expansion, that's a pretty good permanent roof cavity right there. And it goes on down, as you guys can see there, it's just tracking and tracking. That's a pretty massive cavity. So, you know, right about half inch all the way down to about seven and a quarter. You guys can see that twirling in, twirling in, twirling in. And then it starts to flatline right around that nine area. But it's still dumping denim. Still carrying some denim with it. Didn't, it. didn't affect it from expanding. That's for damn sure. You guys seen the results of that. And it streamlined down. And there was our final result right there. Mushroom back perfect. Right at 16 and a half inches. The Spear Gold Dot 38 Special Plus P 135 grain made for the short barrel. You guys have a good one. Okay guys, we're at the post of that Gold Dot GP100 from Ruger 38 Special Plus P 135 grain Gold Dot hollow point. This is the short barrel hollow point made by Gold Dot. Product number 53 which stands for 50 rounds 921. This is everybody's favorite snubby short barrel gold dot round everybody wanted me to fire this in the gp100 so we did it this weekend and these are the results pretty damn good results pretty standard results really really rock on i mean right up there with the snubby gp100 has got the four inch barrel two inch barrel out of the snubby you guys see the results right there you guys just watched the video one end did its job dumped denim went down 16 and a quarter penetration Pretty damn spot on, really. 16 and a quarter. Mushroom bag, you guys can see there. We call it the top hat. 
Did a little top hat mushrooming because it's got extra weight behind it. Did a damn good job. Expansion was right up there. Expansion was it was great. Uh, .555 max expansion. Jump in the weight retention. Weight retention, 134.7. Of course, I'll throw all that up there like I always do. Um, one in. Minute at one in. Rapid expansion. Dumping denim. Dumping denim like they always do. Between the one and the seven inch, you guys seen that massive channel between the one and the seven. I might throw a PIP up there. You guys seen it in the video. Pretty, pretty wicked round, really. And I think it did a little bit better out of the GP100. Obviously, it's going to have a little bit more velocity. But once again, guys, awesome round. As always, Gold Dot performs. 38 special, plus P, 135 grain, Gold Dot hollow point. It's a short barrel version. We used a short barrel. It's only four inches. You guys see them loaded there? You guys see them loaded there? It's an awesome round. 135 grain. You can't go wrong. Everybody's always asking me, what's a good round to carry? What's a good round to carry? Well, you can't go wrong either way. If you don't want to carry 357 Magnum, carry a 38 Special Plus P, 135 grain gold dot hollow point. It works every time, guys. You guys see the videos. You guys don't need to ask what works. Watch the videos, and you guys will see what works. Again, 16 and a quarter penetration. About the half inch mark, we started seeing expansion in the gel. And then, like I said, between the one and the seven, you guys check out that side view. Pretty, pretty, pretty deep cut in there. Dumping a lot of denim. 555 expansion, 134.7 weight retention. You guys have a good one.